How's it going fellow foxes? My name is Ledo and today we're gonna play some more King of Thieves. If you'd like to play along there is a free sponsored download link below in the description through which you can download King of Thieves totally for free on Android or iOS. Every download helps out the channel so a big thank you if you do so. Okay, so this is the second episode of our Let's Play King of Thieves series and apparently the round has just ended and we are still in Wooden League. What a disappointment. So this means that we'll, we'll be at least uh, for three more days into the Wooden League and I won't be able to make a guild. So you guys can't really join my guild and I can't really join yours too. So Okay, so we're in place 13th and we received a thousand gold for that, which is quite neat. Okay, so Jace is saying, hur, hur, hur. I knew that would happen. Want to try again now? Uh, I'll definitely try again. Okay, so our gold mine uh, gives us 3000 gold. I want to take a look over here what we can actually upgrade. It all costs quite a lot. I would love to upgrade my lockpick capacity, but I'm gonna need way more gold than I have right now. Um, Let's see, like I accidentally like logged in on my account and we sh received some uh, battle results. And as you can see, it doesn't look very good. My, basically my base is rubbish. Um, so that's probably the first thing we should try to adapt. But I don't know, man. Like the only very good jump I know is like this red guard jump. Um, maybe we should try it like so. Let's try it like this. This is a pretty decent base, so let's try if we can save it. Come on. There we go. So when to jump now, that's the big question. Okay, it was about now. And there we go, okay. So the first time jump you saw me doing was a red guard jump. And basically you have to jump twice and you have to slide a little bit. Uh, that way you can like just barely pass the red guard. So I'll try to do it once more if I'm lucky. But I was unfortunate. There we go, once again. Okay, so we drop down and now we jump so we don't reach the saw. Okay, so let's do it once more. No. Okay, there we go. Okay. And we go to the chest. Oh, come on. That was so close, man. Oh my god, come on, man. Why does this have to be so hard? Okay, here we go. Once again. Like, saving bases in King of Thieves is really hard. Especially if you want a good base. And obviously I want a good base. Okay, you know what? This might... Oh, we're gonna try once more. But if I don't succeed this time, I'm gonna speed up this process because I think it might get a little bit boring for you guys. So we're gonna speed this up. I'll see you in a minute.
Okay, finally, we were finally able to successfully save our dungeon. This dungeon should be very strong and like no one of this level should be able to successfully raid me basically. I'm I'm honestly except like if they disable the red guard, but if they can't disable the red guard, I expect they can't even reach a totem. This base is such so insanely hard. I messed up a few times in a really dumb way. Uh, but finally we got the base. So that's all I wanted. So now it's time for some attacking to do. So we still have some bases here to finish. So let's get on with level 5 here. And uh, see if we can do these bases. These should be really easy. There we go. Like this. Now we wait for the red guard. We jump over it right to the chest. That's how we do this. So on to the next one. Uh, level 6. Here we go. And there we go. Now we jump over these bullets and we go to the chest. Like some of these single players has have been like changed since I uh, placed uh, played previously. Like they have been made a little bit more difficult in my opinion. Like this kind of jump was definitely uh, not available when I uh, made my uh, single player campaign walkthrough as far as I know. Oh crap, he won't get our keys back, that sucks. There we go, but still three stars, that's what, that's what I like. Okay, so on to level 8 here. We jump over the red guard, now we slide down and go right to the chest. On to level 9. We'll probably do up until level 10, I suppose, or something like that. That should be good. Level 9. Here we go. Okay, that was a bad idea. No! Ah, come on. Okay, okay. It's still good. It's still good. There we go. And we got it. Okay. Still, we didn't get our keys back, so hopefully we don't get in trouble. And we're gonna do one more level, level 10 here. Oh, come on. We really need to get our keys back here. If we don't get our keys back, we're in for some trouble. That was so close, guys. Okay, we got our keys back. Phew, that red guard almost got us. There we go, seven keys back. That's really what I needed. And let's collect our gem here. 130. There we go. Okay. Oh, we actually have to put in a ritual? Do we have two red gems? We don't. That sucks. Um, what kind of potion does that give us? That potion ain't really good. I, I, the green ones, perhaps. Meh. I'm gonna go for the yellow ones. This, uh, this potion gives you twice the amount of gold. I like that uh, a lot better. No thanks. There we go. Yes. Okay. So now we can go and steal some precious gems from other players. Let's find a match here. And let's read this guy. Only one key, that's pretty cool. And there we go. We, we got to the chest. Like that right guard was a little bit tricky, but overall a pretty easy base. Let's see if we can get a gem here. And kaboom. Yes, indeed, we got one, 290. I should have waited, like then I could have put my 290 gem to merge. That was would have been a better merge. Okay, so let's try this one. This guy also has some gems available. Hmm, man, like these two blades are kind of tricky, I suppose. Oh, come on. I still want to get have three stars, though. Okay, still got three stars. That's pretty good. Let's hope for some good gems, shall we? And there we go. We, we got it once again. 260. Awesome. 
Like also a very good thing to do is like uh, buy these extra gem slots as fast as possible because 250 each. So there's gonna be 750 gems to buy uh, all three of those and we only have 50. So that's quite a, a long road to go. But um, I still gonna do some raiding because I wanna like uh, get a better gem instead of this 30 gem, uh, which is kind of a joke. Okay, um, let's do this one just for the gold. Like this. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to lose my keys. Okay, there we go. We got the gold. Okay. Oh, and we leveled up. That's quite nice because we were almost out of keys, but there we go. And we also got five warps. So actually when you level up, it starts to count, you know, like 10 levels is 50 gold. So if you can get a lot of levels, you can get a lot of gold, uh, a lot of orbs, I mean. But still, it's not that much uh, because also uh, the higher your level, the better players you're up against. Like when you are uh, level 45, I suppose, you have to play against every level so like when someone is level 200 you might have to battle him once you're over level 45. when you level under under level 45 you will always be matched against a similar level opponent so that's much better okay so we got that one flawless let's find another one here okay so we wait for the cannon shot lodging all of them now we're just gonna drop down okay Okay, this one was pretty easy. There we go. Can we get a good gem? And yes, we can. Okay, that's quite nice. So the level 30, uh, the 30 gem is now sold. We're in place nine, uh, but we need like quite a lot of uh, gems actually. We need about 5,000 gems to get on the leaderboard. So that's quite a long way to go. Um, you can buy a 3, 3k gem, so that should definitely help, but I won't be doing that. Um, I want to take a look actually at um, the scoreboard here, and we are still in position 12. I think we were also in that position previously. Um, like German's knee is still going strong, so yeah, we're gonna have to uh, steal a lot more gold in order to progress here. Um, so yeah, what can we, there's not really that much else to do, I suppose, uh, except to fight, you know. So we definitely need to get the Stone League because then we can finally get into a guild and that's really what I want to do here. This is like a standard base, I think, because in my previous episode we also encountered the base like this. So there we go, a green gem, but it's not very good, sadly enough. But it's better than the gems we have, so we shouldn't complain. Now let's do this one. Ooh, that was kind of dumb. This is a pretty strange base. But we still got it. Okay. Oh man, we are so lucky with, with these gem steals, man. We get them almost all of the time. So let's see for another one, some extra gold. I could use that. And there we go. Okay, looking good. We got it, flawless rates, man. We are doing so many flawless rates, it's insane. Wow, this base is kind of, this must must have been the dumbest base I've ever encountered in my life. Look look at how we are going to finish this base. Whee! Sliding down and we got it. Wow. <laughs> that was really the dumbest base defense I've ever seen in my life. And it was even like a gem worth more than 300. So I would definitely love to have it, but I'm not gonna respin for it. Okay. Oh, this, this guy has also pretty good gems. I will, and we got a potion and some orbs. Looking good already, but he has one hell of an annoying fly. No, 
No! Come on. Come on, I can't lose this one. Let's go back here. Okay, there we go. Oh, we only got two stars. You gotta be kidding me. Come on, please. Come on. Oh no. If I had three stars, I would have gotten it. No, that sucks. And now we only have one key left. That's so unfair. Um, no, I'm not gonna do this. Let's, let's try if we can find a match and we can open up the door with one key. We can't. No. Okay. No more matches for today, I suppose. Okay, so let's look, uh, we have 25k and that's just enough for uh, the lockpick capacity upgrade. So that's exactly what we are going to do. Looking good. This is going to level four. When this is level four, we can actually upgrade this one. Lockpick speed. Uh, and we can upgrade the skill gold bonus. And then we can finally upgrade the merchant, what our ultimate goal is. Although I don't play this that much on this account, mostly only for recording. So I'm not really sure if we will be able to ac accumulate this many gold uh, to actually buy the merchants, so we'll have to see for that. Um, so that's definitely what we're going to do now. Obviously, we don't have enough gold to upgrade any of our traps, so that's too bad. So yeah, let's take a look uh, at uh, how our defenses were, were actually doing. This guy also got a pretty cool outfit. I like that outfit a lot. And he, <laughs> what is this guy doing? Okay. There he goes. Okay, this guy got some skill. Uh, so yeah, I, it's pretty obvious that our base is pretty uh, easy. Also, I just uh, noticed that we don't actually have a throne. So that's something we still have to wait for. So basically at some point, I don't know at which point, we will receive a throne and then we can like upgrade our throne uh, with the ingredients we get from rituals. And uh, we can use those uh, for rating bonuses and such and then we can also look at uh, different outfits so I'm definitely looking forward for that but besides that there isn't really much to do for us so we don't have a guild uh, are some missions perhaps oh I still need to like your Facebook page so I'm definitely going to do that and in two hours we will have collected this mission so that's pretty decent uh, but yeah I, do, I, I don't have any I have one key so we're gonna try it once more uh, to spend one key. Oh, come on. Okay, so now that's going to be it for today. Um, so yeah, we completed quite a few single player missions from now on. So, and we unlocked the first gem mine. So that's also pretty cool, right? And, but yeah, that was kind of it. Um, like saving this base will definitely grant as many skills, I suppose. So I'm definitely interested in seeing uh, the uh, base defense results when we come back in the next episode, because if I'm correct, this base should give us tons of gold. Uh, if you have this base or this uh, layout, particular layout, you should definitely check out this uh, this base layout. It's, if you know how it's done, it's not that hard to actually save it. But for people who don't know how it's done, this red guard jump is just insanely hard. Uh, this might not be the best defense for this uh, layout, but it's definitely one of the oh, an easy one you can implement that will still give you many skills. That's basically what I'm looking for in a, in a base defense. Okay, so yeah, seems that's everything. Also, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Instagram.com slash I am Salado. Follow me there. And don't forget, if you want to play along, there is a sponsored download link below in the description through which you can download King of Thieves totally for free on Android or iOS. Every download helps out the channel out, so a big thank you. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you want to get updated on future King of Thieves content. Take care, guys. Stay awesome, fellow foxes, and see you next time.